Today we're doing something a little special and we're gonna be having pop tarts. Well, at least Clark is. Dad's gotta lose a little bit of weight. You can see yourself in there. Hello, Clark man from the future. Tell us what our future is. It uh, it's grand though. You just want one of these? Yes. That'll do it for now. Grab me a little piece. I guess now's a better time than ever to welcome everyone to Greg and Clark's remote learning kindergarten vlogs. We've been doing this since the very beginning of September and we plan to continue doing videos every single day that Clark has school until the very end of the year. The premise of this is that I show you what Clark's learning, we go on an adventure, we have lots of fun, and today's adventure, oh man, it's gonna be a good one because we've got a little something in this package here that I'm gonna keep as a surprise until after breakfast. We're still waiting on this guy though. Oh man, I'm so hungry. That didn't scare me. <laughs> I, I... Woo! He might got a little overdone there in the edges. <laughs> It'll still be good though. Whoop. Rest in pieces are milk. As Clark Man partakes in his breakfast, I'll give you guys yet another clue as to what we're doing today. Even though it's probably in the title, it's probably in the thumbnail. Still another clue. It's a beautiful day outside, and there's something that we love to do on beautiful days, especially this summer. But what is that thing that we love to do on beautiful days outside through the summer of 2020? No, what is? What is it? RT. <gasps> Who told you my secret? My brother, Luigi. Just gotta wait for Mario to finish up, and then we're gonna do an unboxing with you guys on this. Is it dog treats? Maybe. Now what's in that box? What is that? RC truck. No, you're wrong actually. Really? Mm-hmm. What is it? Breakfast has been demolished, and I think it's now time to reveal what's in this mystery package to you guys, which came to us straight from China. Cut across here, and we will come around here, and you can start to tell what it is inside here. Can you start to see what it is? Yes. What does that thing look like? Uh, Coming soon to a Greg's World Channel near you. It's a, it's a car. We've got an RC car. This is a, it has an interesting backstory to this very beat up box that is uh, kind of rattling inside. I actually got a message on Instagram of all places from this company that was like, we saw your RC videos and was wondering if you wanted to s us to send you a free RC car so you could review it. And I was like, I know rocks. I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, heck yeah. I'll ride an RC car around and have fun with it and smash it up and stuff. And they were like, okay, we'll send it out to you. This is back in August. And I was like, okay. And then uh, I pretty much forgot about it. But the guy was like, hey, it shows delivered. So we went to the post office and lo and behold, our RC car was there waiting for us, and that's what we're gonna be getting into today. Of course, after we do school. Is it blue? No, it's orange. He asked me what color I wanted, I was like, I think orange looks kinda cool. Uh, they have a couple different colors. Blue, red, orange. I like the orange. Let's crack into this and see what this thing is all about. Clarky's on the table, you know he's serious. Oh, they at least you. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of decals inside here. Yeah, mom. And you can see that. And then we get the car, which is just sitting on top here with the, uh, battery just falling out of it. That was the thing that was rattling. But it does have pins on it. It's an indicator of whether it's a decent RC or not, if it has pins. And we'll uh, pop these out and we'll see what this thing looks like inside. It's kind of like a drift car. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty fast. It does have like drift car look to it with the wheels in the bottom here. We're gonna pop that off. Oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of surprised to the quality of this. I was not expecting it to be decent. In fact, I was thinking like, okay, we'll get this thing, we'll uh, kind of make fun of it or whatever, which we still might do. If the company's watching, don't get too, don't get your hopes up. Uh, what is this thing called anyway? I, I'm not getting paid for this by any means. They sent this to me for free, like I said, but I'm not getting a paid, I'm not an affiliate, none of that. It's a ZD Racing Rocket S16, 116 scale, 2.4 gigahertz, four wheel drive, RC car, ready to run. It goes 45 kilometers per hour, which is, I think like 20 some miles an hour, and that's actually pretty fast. In addition to all this good stuff, we also have the controller here and the charger. Do you want to get that out, Clark Man? Yes, no, I'll show this off. You guys really care about chargers. This is this is it right here. Ooh, I don't like the plastic wheel on the side. I like having a little bit of rubber on there. What's in here? You it's, smelling it? Yeah. Does it smell like China? Yeah, it smells like the person's hands. Oh, that's weird. Mm. That's not good at all. That's not gonna work in our outlets. This will, and then this just plugs into here. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? I hope so. That plugs into there, and that's how you charge it, which I'm going to do right now. Can I plug it in? Yeah, if you want to. Oh, that works right there. Our house blows up. 
There you go. It's charging. Yeah. So uh, we'll just let that charge up. This is 1200 milliamp, which is kind of small actually. That's a small battery. This thing isn't going to last very long out there. Other than that, I'll just make sure everything else is in order here and we'll be taking this thing out with you guys today. So that gives you something to look forward to. Gives you something to look forward to because we have to now migrate to school and get our schooling done. For anyone new out there, this is our classroom. Remote learning, basically a Chromebook with the teacher on Zoom calls and we do the lessons and assignments as we need to. And we crank out our days in short periods of time and then we go have fun adventures. Is that me? Yeah, ah! that's me. Oh my gosh. I got picked up. Yeah, yeah. Good job, buddy. Figure that out. Blanky. All right, kindergarten. Great job. Go ahead and turn the page. One page. Just pick up one page and turn it. I flipped my page already because I already did that whole entire page. Three, One, two, right here, three, right four, next to it. <laughs> to make sure they are the same. What can I do? Bye! Bye. Finished math, we're moving on to reading where we're discussing adventures. An adventure is something new and exciting to do. Going to camp inside a tent. That is definitely an adventure. Sounds like a fun one. Yeah. So Clark got to camp in a tent. I'm out in Greg's RC garage right now, quite literally, and you guys know we're running that orange car today, but I decided I'm gonna take a car with me as well. We're gonna take the Red Cat Drift car, and I've been getting some new rims together for this. You guys can see the ones that are on here, the tires are just pooched. And it's mainly because I didn't glue these down originally when I put them on, so they would come off and slide around, and that really wore them down. So I've got this stuff, which is uh, tire glue, and I just put this on the new rims that I'm putting on here. And I'm going from white to black, so you guys can see the, the difference between these. They're kind of similar, actually, but I think the black is going to look really cool, especially with this body that is uh, very dusty, thanks to uh, some little chicks that were living out here for the last month. School's officially over, which can only mean one thing. RC life has begun. Check our battery out here. It's now green, which is a good sign. Little cat. Exciting. It's gonna be pretty sweet, I think. You forgot batteries in here? Yeah, we'll have to put batteries in there as well. I noticed this is modeled after a Porsche. A Porsche. 911, maybe? I yeah. like the styling of it. I like good. your Porsche. That's kind of why I like this, because it looks a lot like the Lego set that I have that's similar to that. Uh, what kind of batteries does this take? We need two AA batteries. Um, we have lots of those. Ever since we started getting into RC stuff, I've developed a large collection of batteries. Only need two, that's not bad. See how it says plus there? Mm -hmm. That's the top with a little nubbin on it. So you wanna drop that in with that bottom part first into that one. Nope, other way. There you go. The other one's gonna go in the opposite direction. This way? Yep. Perfect. Okay, see if there's a light that turns on. Oh, there's a light flashing. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah. What? Are oh, you gonna drive forward? Come on, lady. You can do it. Car on first. Then controller. Oh, found the secret, eh? Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. I will say this does feel like the cheapest transmitter that I've ever held in my entire life. And that goes off of even some of the cheaper ones we've gotten on Amazon. Let's see what this has to say here. Okay, it's uh, it's all in Chinese. Well played, well played. I'm thinking this is the only thing that's in English in this entire thing. I've had issues like this before with Traxxas where it would steer but not go forward and back and it was like a binding issue between the transmitter and the receiver here. Uh, with those, it's pretty easy to fix. With this, I, uh, I don't really know. I'm gonna try a little trick here. I'm going to hold the trigger in, I'm gonna turn this on, and then I'm going to turn the car on. Woo! It went, briefly. What am I supposed to do? I guess if anything, this is a message of you get what you pay for, especially when you have a company reaching out to you on Instagram to send you a free RC car from China. This is probably what you can come to expect from that. I'm at least thankful that I didn't pay for this. 
Yeah. But I certainly can't endorse this product whatsoever. Unless the guy gets back to me and says, like, hey, all you have to do is uh, click this three times and push this button in six times and, you know. Oh my god. The gods have spoken, Clark Man. It's very delayed, though. Very delayed. Go ahead and try it out while it still works. Go! Let's put the body on. At least try it out while it's working for these few seconds. I literally did nothing. It just started working. Let's take it out in the driveway. I don't know how long this thing's actually gonna work for, so we gotta get out here. Okay, go. It's actually pretty fast. Oh God. <laughs> and that's not working anymore. Really? Yeah. That was it? Yeah. See, it's not moving. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Let's talk smack about it again. Maybe it'll start working. Okay. You're the worst car ever. You are terrible. We hate Chinese RC cars. Okay, now let me try it. Oh, it didn't work this time. Ah. Shoot. I don't understand why it would just randomly work right there and then not. It's obviously something probably with this or with this or with both. I refuse to give up. We're gonna keep trying with this thing and see if we can get it running once more. <gasps> it's going again. Stop going. I can't. Did you see that thing take off? Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. I don't know why it did it though. This debacle is the reason that I had a backup plan for today, because I had a feeling, and that's why I have this thing all ready to go, as I showed you earlier. You know what the problem was, Clark Man? What? That car probably knew how bad we were gonna abuse it, and it just didn't even want to be a part of that. It was like, nope, no thank you. If I used your gigantic camera, it would just smash that car. <laughs> your gigantic camera to put in the Oh Texas. yeah, we could sledgehammer it. That'd yeah. be a great idea too. Yeah, Pam is just... You know, in terms of video, I think that us sledgehammering a car would probably do better than us driving one, honestly. Really? Probably. We good? I'm pressing the truck. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> There we go. I was like, are we cursed? If this one wasn't gonna work, I was just gonna retire from RC stuff, Clark, man. Never to run an RC car again. What do you think the black rims, Clark, man? Awesome. I think they look pretty sick, dude. Where are we at, Clark, man? The park. We mean business now. He's up to something here. No! Ah, no! This it, isn't Monster Jam! It, this is! <laughs> yeah! Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm hoping the company that sent us that car is watching this because it could have been your product. You could be out here right now. We could be advertising you like crazy instead. Go get yourself a Red Cat Racing RC car. Drift car, EPX Lightning drift car, amazing. Grave digger, or no? no bone, bone shaker, I'm sorry. Bone shaker from Target, $60. Still out here running. Although it might've flipped over a little bit. It happens. All jokes aside, just trying to absorb this warm weather when we can because this isn't gonna last forever. So we're trying to be out here, make every day an adventure, just like I always tell you guys. I'm sure the wind is ruining my audio, but I wish you guys the very best in the rest of your day today, and we will see you tomorrow for a Friday of Remote Learning Kindergarten.
just, Clark got away from me finally. 